Good morning. Oh, I'm a very quiet space today. It may be a short video, I don't know. <laughs> it depends on what spirit brings me as I begin talking. I've been sitting in silence for probably close to two hours now. It was not even three o'clock yet. Well, it was almost three when I woke up. And I didn't get out of bed for an hour. But I've been up for an hour also. And in the meditation room, a good deal of that time. Anyway. A couple news items caught my attention in the past couple of days. Regarding Murdoch. <laughs> <laughs> and his problems that he's having over there in, in Britain, in England. And I came up with a title actually yesterday, but I've been really meditating on this this morning. The title I came up with is Meddling with the Moguls. <laughs> For those of you that don't know, the hackers actually got into the uh, into his web base and actually had an article uh, on his web page uh, for the Sun newspaper in London uh, telling about his death in, the, in his garden. And then of course when he was at the hearing before the uh, uh, the Parliament I guess in, uh, in England somebody came up and was going to put a, a pie pan full of cream in his face <laughs> and of course the person was arrested but I got to admit that I got a little bit of a chuckle out of that. Uh, Murdoch of course is the media mogul who runs a whole bunch of media networks and he's one of the movers and shakers in the media industry which is responsible for disinforming and misinforming the people uh, even if they do say they're fair and balanced, it's hardly the case <laughs> for anybody that's in the know. And I even looked up some scripture verses today as I was sitting here at the computer when I came back from the meditation room. And I'm not going to read all of the ones that I looked up, but I will read this one from Isaiah 5.15. And the mean man shall be brought down, and the mighty man shall be humbled, and the eyes of the lofty shall be abased. And instead of just exulting in what happened to Mr. Murdoch, I look inside of me and wonder, what does he represent in me? Where am I being mean? Where am I exalting myself unduly? And so I'm pondering deep questions that are deep for me. They may not be deep for you. And it sort of takes the these ponderings, these musings that I'm going through, sort of take the joy out of seeing seeing the humor in what's happening to Mr. Murdoch, who is but one representation. of a world that has gone out of control with its craziness and insanity. But I do see, I do see these wrongs being righted. And yet there's a part of me that says, Ron, it's the very wrongs that are bringing the awakening. If it wasn't for the 
in balance, we would never be able to come to balance. And I don't know if that's true or not, but it seems to be in the three-dimensional reality. And so much of my spiritual training has been based on looking only at one side. And I have actually prided myself in and being willing to embrace the paradox and take a look at both sides of things. And when I'm feeling good, when I'm feeling high energy, that works okay. When I'm feeling low energy, <laughs> which is really what I've been feeling the past day or so, Well, when I'm feeling low energy, I'm feeling low energy. But the perspective, I'm, I'm amazed at myself of how my perspective changes depending on the energy that I'm feeling. What's going on with me emotionally impacts how I perceive everything. My contemplations totally shift and totally change whether I'm in a high place or a low place according to my according to what my feelings are telling me are showing me and I think that's a good thing I wouldn't trade it for anything Yes, I, I, this is going to be a very short one today because I'm simply not in a place. I'm simply not in the place that I can inspire you because I'm not feeling the inspiration myself. I don't feel good about laughing at Mr. Murdoch. I don't feel good about that because I know there's something there about me and I'm not quite putting my finger on it. I'm not quite putting my finger on it. So it's a time of introspection and a time of more quietness. And let me encourage you, if you're so, if that's your energy level today, to go into your own space of introspection and meditation. Look at yourself in the mirror as I've been doing a lot lately. Part of it because it's an assignment, but it's something that I've, that I've been doing off and on throughout the last quite a few years of my life, going back into the 90s when I started, did the first workshop and looking at my eyes and seeing my own sadness. <laughs> but I don't always, of course. Sometimes I see the joy dancing in my eyes, but today it was sadness again. And it was, it's been sadness the last few days, actually. As I and pondering the resistance. Anyway, I, I keep talking and I need to actually just say have a good day <laughs> and namaste. Yes. Thank you for listening. If you've made it this far all the way through, you've been more patient than I probably would have been. So I thank you for that. Namaste.